Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Monolith. Loop 24. Having a, a pretty successful past few runs. Grabbing the extra ammo and damage immediately from the from the drop. I feel like that is I feel like that's definitely what you should do. The extra damage and ammo will probably be worth more than the HP. And let's be honest, when you take damage, you can just heal anyways. But, uh, hey, you know what? Svela, Railgun, Overheat, Shrapnel, Knockback. Okay. Pretty good get from just a random, you know, first floor <laughs> weapon crate gun. Not weapon crate gun, it's a weapon terminal gun. Still, love it. Now, I, oh my god, I'm missing all my shots. I don't know if this gun is very good at breaking bullets. Like enemy bullets. Kinda hope it is. Because if it's very good at breaking enemy bullets, then it's going to be, you know, a very good gun for us to take along and use. It doesn't seem like it is, because I'm, I'm killing enemies and their bullets are still remaining. So, this might be a weapon that, you know, we, we could use it, or we could get rid of it for something that does prevent the uh, enemy bullets when it kills ghosts, for example. I think that's very important. I think you need to be able to kill ghosts and have them basically not have any bullets on the screen. You know, get whatever item you need to make that happen. Really? There, oh god. There's no secret room on the floor? <laughs> like, there's gotta be a secret room somewhere. That's a very good upgrade terminal. That's basically 20% max ammo. Or cartridge, because it does upgrade to a cartridge if you keep upgrading it forever. That's the secret room on the left. I'm like 80% certain the secret room is on the left of this room. Okay, you know what? Why don't you guys cluster together? Maybe that's what I'm missing here. Cluster, cluster, cluster. There we go. At least we were able to kill that ghost. That ghosty ghoul. Gain a powerful ally, but you get 20% less debris. That's a very good cartridge, but I'm not, I'm not gonna have the money for it, really. Thunderhead. Charge faster, backblast, align. I'm gonna take it for money. We only get 294, that was not worth it. I was really hoping we'd get a lot of cash out of that. But what, I, what I'm planning on is I'm planning on uh, upgrading as much as possible and maybe trying to get an even better cartridge. I'm also thinking like maybe the, uh, the best option here is Just getting the contract. You get less debris. It's only 20% less debris though. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. And we can also upgrade this and make this even better. Reveal the entire floor, we don't need it. But it's 20% ammo for 1250. Dude, I don't know. <laughs> I am, uh, I'm lost. There's so many good options here. So many good uh, threads to pull on. I'm gonna go for the recovery HP. We'll be able to kill the boss and get ammo on the next floor easily enough. I'm gonna say no to the ally. He doesn't often work uh, like as well as you would like him to, so I'm gonna get the ammo and I'm gonna charge this up. Pulsar. Let's upgrade it, 700 gold. Lois, 1916. Headhunter, hunter and homing. Hunt marked enemies for buffs, temporary buffs. I looked it up. Let's upgrade it again. Oh, we gotta fight a boss. Upgrading it one more time should give us a, uh, it should give us a, Damn it, I roll, went right into that bullet. Uh, upgrading one more time should give us a cartridge. Which, you know, we could have just bought the other cartridge for 3,000, but this couldn't be anything. It could even be a cartridge. You know what I'm saying? What? I was literally in, moving in the direction to pick it up. Reduced multiplier loss. Not worth it. 
Lois, 68, 66, 64. When hit reflect projectiles. No. It's pretty good. But if we get focus, we don't need it. I'm gonna reroll it one more time. Highest. 33, 35. Detects its kin. We can't reroll it again, so I'm just gonna take it, but eh. Not that happy with the cartridges. That's fine. At least we did get a cartridge. You know, a benefit. Love it. And honestly, this gun is is seeming pretty decent. Collect, we'll do that later. Excuse me. Coming through. Did anything get different from loop 20 onwards? I mean, the short answer is yes. Things are still getting harder. But a lot of the things that are getting harder are um, getting harder in subtle ways. Like, enemies are still constantly scaling. There was no immediate change. There's, it's not like, on uh, 20, you have to fight four bosses instead of one. You know, th there's no like super high difficulty increase like that. But mini bosses are having more and more enemies spawn with them. Um, enemies are firing faster, they're firing more bullets. It's just getting harder and harder as time goes on still. We need a bomb here. Thunderhead is very, very bad at destroying enemy bullets, so we would very much like to replace this on this floor when we can. I mean, it's still a great gun, but we would still like to replace it at some point. Do, do, do. I'm trying to beeline the mini boss so I can use this gun on the mini boss, and then after I use this gun on the mini boss, maybe find the weapon terminal and then. Uh, get a new gun out of it. Should not have been holding left, because I just left the room immediately upon killing that enemy. I'm also trying to, to use the align nature of the gun to keep it in line with enemies. Trying to get a little bit of extra damage dealt from it. Because as I back up, it because it's a line, it keeps its distance to me. Or I should say it just doesn't like progress as quickly. Maybe that's another way of phrasing it. Oh lord! I feel like these guys—they're getting better aim as time goes on. Also, that was a great shot. Do 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 do. Blink, quickening, plating, blink. I will use a bomb, I will look. Shouldn't have looked because I would like to swap this gun and then maybe get a keyword for a different gun. So let's, let's, let's use the ammo in the Thunderhead here. Get HP for it, then swap. Sword, Reflective, Razor Burst, Instant Recall. Razor Burst, Instant Recall does insane damage, but it also takes a lot of ammo. So we're gonna go run through the ammo very quickly here. But Burst is really good. If we can get homing added to this with triple, our damage is gonna be insane. But yeah, again, ammo usage is gonna go up. Oh God, there goes my shield. He didn't telefrag me, I kind of almost telefragged him, but it was still super annoying that it happened. I miss the good old days of ring shot just having infinite ammo. <laughs> Although because we popped a shield, we do have handheld game, but we don't want it. So Razor, like, we used half the ammo. Dagger is good. We need a different gun. I do hope that this gun can hold it together for one more floor until I can find another weapon terminal, but we'll see. You know, if we lose it, we lose it. I want to keep the shattering bomb if I can. Oh my god, they jump so flippin' high, I always forget. Oh. You know what, there's ammo, so now I don't have to worry so much. Well, at some point, I'm gonna have to go down there. I fucking hate this room with these enemies. Like, the ghosts, because they shoot bullets directly at you, and uh, because they're through a portal, it's it's so hard to, to figure out how you're supposed to aim. And I do mean how to aim, because 
It's such a, a BS room. Let's be honest, kind of look like it. So I'm definitely hoping to maybe kill some mini bosses and then trade guns. So let, let's do that. Let's let's try to kill some mini bosses and then trade some guns. Alright, you know what? There we go. Oh, I blinked. I forgot I had blink, actually. I want to try to, to make sure that the bullets from the right can't hit me. So I'm not breaking those sides. That was a good room. Good fight. Good fight, dick. I already found the secret room. Don't need to spend any blanks doing anything. Hold them if you can. Blanks, bombs, it's all the same thing. Artifact, pow, fortune. It's floor three, but fortune I think is still worthwhile. If these guys blow up, blow up in the uh, water, I don't think they'd do anything. Okay, annoying. 91 ammo. Should probably try and uh, beeline that mini boss. You know what? The, so, Manuk, I was saying things haven't really gotten that harder on, on Loop 20 just because it's Loop 20, but there is something that has changed. Uh, ghosts. Ghosts are now starting to fire more unbreakable bullets. Originally, they fired zero on normal mode, one on hard mode. Uh, now it's just getting harder and harder as time goes on. Small, subtle change. Let's um, swap guns, then go for a keyword. Sword, triple freeze, spear, back shot, instant hit. I really don't want a sword. Because um, I really don't like swords. Maybe we can actually give it a shot, though. Maybe this will be this will be the run where I say to myself, "Oh, hey, swords are really good." Also, maybe I will uh, determine if a sword can actually be used like the um, the uh, 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 edge of reality, where I can do like a left-right click. Well, that basically helps me not at all. Looks like the answer to the question is no. However, I am admittedly blinking. Maybe it does work. The left right click might be functional with regular swords. I think it might be functional. I, I did teleport directly into an enemy, but that's that's my own damn fault. Eternal Vigil, Runic, and Pickaxe Find Secret. Okay, we're gonna s switch guns. <laughs> Eternal Vigil. This, this is the one, yeah, this is the one that makes uh, these runes appear on a room and they just shoot at enemies kind of automatically. It's a pretty powerful gun. That was such a bad hit to take, but I, I don't know if I love it. We're gonna give it a shot though. I mean, it's basically like automatic homing. You know, I don't even have to aim. I just hold down the button. They all shoot. Which, you know, there's a benefit to this. You know, one benefit is that you uh, don't really suffer from ammo inefficiencies. You know, your shots, they automatically aim. Sometimes the shots are dumb. You know, they won't aim at the target you want them to aim at, but why, where are you shooting? <sighs> like, right now? I actually have no idea what my bullets are doing. <laughs> that is dumb. On loop 100, the ghosts are harder than Monolith. Well, I'm looking forward to that one. Not. On dash, fire a shot at a nearby enemy. We'll also bless this gun, get some more ammo for it. 
Uh, we'll add bombs, heal. Honestly, that was a pretty good floor. We don't need any more blessings because we can't have any more blessings. We'll move on. Fortune not really paying for itself yet, but we'll see. We got time. Time for it to pay out. So, I mean, I, I hope that my guns are being super efficient. Hard to tell. I guess our, 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 my bullets may try to home in, oh, secret room, on uh, the enemy closest to the cursor. I think that is actually the case. I was gonna get hit. Yeah, I think the, I think the shots might home in on what's nearest to the, uh, the cursor, which is nice. It's nice to know that that is something that happens. I don't need to worry so much. Which, what's also nice is that I think I can um, hide, like hide behind a wall and still be able to shoot enemies. I don't think I need line of sight. So I did get hit. I, I have blink, so in theory, maybe it's nearest to the nearest enemies to me or something. Yeah, in theory, I should be able to handle handle these rooms that are uh, extremely bullet helly. I don't know why those ghosts didn't fire bullets when they died. I mean, I appreciate it for sure. Take the ammo. It's another danger room, but we got a good payout from it. Yeah, yeah, I, I like that. I like that I can hide behind a wall. We should, we should be taking advantage of that at every single opportunity. Like, oh, hey, here. So, I, I mean, you want to know what happened? I'll, I'll tell you what happened. My, my bullets are, or my uh, my familiar friends are not actually aiming at the blocks. They're aiming at the enemies. I couldn't actually get out of that room. Lose a max bomb to gain six bombs. No, thank you. You know, on, on that particular room, what I needed was my orbiting bullet friends to be like, Hey, we should shoot at the blocks so you can maneuver, huh? Yes, please. Oh, okay, here you go. They didn't do that, though. They didn't do that. I hate having to use these bombs, but I mean, I'm, I'm gonna get hit if I don't. There's so many bullets on the screen. There is a micro core. We'll grab that extra pow. I like the micro core fight right now because I don't really have much going on. For me, we can we can probably take advantage of that. Let's get a let's get a bomb right now. Let's go to the secret room. I want to see what's inside of it. And let's just go fight micro core. You know, our, our bullets will automatically aim. I can focus on dodging. Reward is leveling up. It's max. So if we take damage, we need to shoot, but until we take damage, we do not need to shoot. Getting hit once is fine. We actually lose a lot of reward getting hit. We should, you know, strive to not take damage. And if we do, make sure you shoot. Okay, there's your reward. Man. Does this guy get harder on loops? Because he is seeming to be a pain in the ass lately. Whatever, there's max reward. We took three hits. What do we get? Cartridge. Damage is dealt to HP segments. Very nice. Uh, we do get full ammo. We get 25% max ammo. Two max HP and healing. So this is worth it. It's actually substantially worth it. The only thing we lost out on was multiplier and bombs. I'll lose a little multiplier and bombs to get a lot of max ammo. That seems like a good deal. Ah, fucking Christ. Hate these rooms though. You gotta admit these rooms are kinda hot, hot garbage, aren't they? And we're definitely not gonna get uh, the multiplier necessary in order to go to the temple, so we're gonna say no temple. Random curse on pickup. <laughs> funny. Funny game. Funny. Funny. Funny game.
I was like, please shoot gun. Gun friends, gun bullets. I don't know why my, um... I don't know why my gun bullet, orbital bullet friends aren't like doing anything. Like they're not actually seemingly firing at the target, but sure, whatever. Hide. Easy one. Uh, I think I'm going to change guns after the boss fight, but we'll see what happens after we actually fight the boss. I don't know, <laughs> stop shooting at those things, please. What are they shooting at? Like they're shooting at like a segment of the the boss that I can't really see. Surprisingly, we did it without getting hit, so we could have templed it. But I took a lot of damage earlier on the floor. Oops, my bad. Sword bloodlust pulse waves freeze. I'm gonna take it. Uh, I don't like it, but what's gonna happen is we're just gonna swap it later, anyways. We're gonna swap it on the next floor for something else. So we lose the um, that runic, but. Honestly, I don't feel like that runic gun would have kept me going through the uh, the floor anyways. You know, I don't think that's gonna save me on the, uh, on the fight against Overlord. We're gonna run out of ammo with that gun, I think. I'm surprised it didn't get telefragged yet, honestly. These guys love telefragging. Dude, I'm I will say I'm getting better at handling certain enemies like that. Probably shouldn't have gotten hit there, but you know, you can't win them all. I think there is gonna be a secret room to the right of that. So let's go over here. Let's go over here. No secret room. You know what? I tried. I tried, God damn it! So there is a, uh, and we actually, you know, possibly could have found a secret room there. We also got a uh, ammo drop. It's very handy. You know, admittedly, sword is very good at helping you on on certain rooms. Like. Uh, like those rooms with lots of, you know, bullets being summoned from those enemies. Boom, easy. I hate that we have a keyword here. Triple overheat quick, increased attack speed. Oh, no. let's go for overheat. Now there is a breach room, so there's gonna be a into the breach on this floor somewhere. Love that. And I'm not, I'm not lying, I love it. Into the breach rooms are great opportunities for plenty of advancement. Still have to, to try, oh, it's the fight. I forgot how this works. The trespasser, I've only fought him once. I have to shoot his, um, I have to shoot his, his like head segments, the green things for rewards. Reward up, reward up, reward up, reward up. So I'm taking damage, but I'm kind of doing this on purpose to get more rewards. I, I probably shouldn't be this aggressive on reward hunting, but I don't know what, what the rewards are, you know? I, is it one reward per... I don't know. Double special bomb gain, uh, yes please. Lots of HP, thank you very much. 20% uh, ammo, two max HP, 5% damage. Dude, I played that one super stupidly on purpose and we made out so easily. And by easily, I mean well and great and fantastic. We took, got a lot of bonuses from that. That was fantastic and wonderful and amazing. And there's 5% more damage. Wasn't the strategy of the loop to keep a weapon and upgrade it? Yes, you know, that is definitely a very uh, viable strategy and I've, I've, you know, had good results doing that. The thing is, 
you need to have a good weapon to upgrade it. Like sword is not a very good weapon, you know. I don't I don't like the swords. Now, if we had a good sword, well, that was dumb. Uh, if we had a good sword, maybe we could upgrade it. But I, I don't love swords. Drill, that's a very good upgrade target. You know, if we get one of those guns, I'll upgrade it. Sure, why not? Well, let's get one of those guns first, right? From max HP. That happened very quickly. Maybe this sword is good enough. Like, it's, 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 seems like it's doing a good job. It's not quick or anything, but, you know, seems to be doing a good amount of damage. The overheat seems to be doing okay. I think plating works here because that's seven HP, which is kind of ridiculous. Cover 2 HP, don't need it, but that's, you know, that is 2 HP because of the fact that it's HP parts. That's great. We can get full ammo for the gun at some point if we want it. We can gain even more deep freeze bombs. We can go into that Overlord fight with six bombs. Dude. Maybe the sword is the way to go. And maybe I'm slowly learning that being super aggressive with the sword and like a left right click is is a totally viable strategy because it feels viable. Also, 170% damage uh, doesn't hurt. Do we have any other like modifier on this gun? Don't pick up anything. Hold up. Get the uh, get the HP. Bloodlust. Charge by killing enemies quickly. I don't know. I can't really tell. Oh, we got hit. I can't really tell if there is like a, a large damage bonus on the bloodlust, just because there it, it's not like numerically defined at all here. But I like it so far. So I decided to do that so I could just get full ammo from this which we uh, will do as long as we have the money for it, which we do. Quickly look at this. These are blessed guns, so if we want something, we should take it. Dude, I'm gonna give it a try. Fi hi hello, welcome. Long time no see. You know what? Left, right, click, dodge seems to do a pretty decent amount of damage and it seems to be pretty efficient. Now, sort of bad dodging there. Should have gotten hit there. Took like four or five, six hits, you know. Shouldn't be taking that damage, but I'm trying to I'm trying to a new strategy with swords, so taking a few hits is kind of expected. That worked very well. I know I use no bombs, but for an experiment, dude. Hey Solder, you're here for Slay the Spire, but this game looks cool as hell. Or cool too. It is cool. I like this game a lot. Okay, 26 HP, HP's fine. Okay, we used a laser bomb. I, I didn't realize I had that many laser bombs. I have three more. Yes. Okay, you know, a little disappointed in myself for that one. Let's go heal up. This guy is getting a new attack, I think. The the uh, homing bullet, I don't recognize those. Overheat's really nice here. Uh, I'm gonna heal. There should be a weapon on the floor, I feel. Powerful explosives, we'll open that later. Ideally when we get like a new gun.
5% ammo, acceptable. There's gonna be another vault, acceptable. I really don't want to use my bombs because I want to save them, you know? They're doing a good job of uh, keeping me alive when I use them appropriately, but I'm not really using them appropriately, am I? So now we should definitely just spend more healing. And we should be using bombs, why? Because we have bombs that we can go grab whenever we want. Double special bomb game makes that very easy to do here. So let's let's pop some bombs. You know, go down here. Easy. Go take a look at this. Homing chaos drill. I don't like it because when we lose the uh, curse effect, we lose the gun as well. There's another secret room there. You know, might as well go in here and pop a bomb if you need to. I'm taking a lot of damage because the um, the gun, like that. Sorry, the sword isn't, you know, saving me from every hit. But I, I, I'm being too aggressive, hoping that it will block bullets. But I, you know, I should just flip in. Fuck you. He he actually spawned a block, and I couldn't get past it. <laughs> piece of garbage. We should definitely just be, um, I should use the bomb in there. We, sh we should definitely just be, uh, hanging back and just swinging the sword. It, it does damage. Let it do damage at distance. You know, hang back, break line of sight, hide, etc, etc. Play the coward is what I should be doing. That's my new motto today. Play the coward. Now, something to keep in mind, we uh, have a problem, a minor problem. What's the minor problem? There's probably a keyword in here. If there's a keyword in here, we're not getting a new gun on the floor. So we need to maybe get ammo from these uh, mini bosses. We'll think about it though. Think about it, think, think about it. Hello? When the hit reflects nearby projectiles. I said no to this earlier. I'll take it. It's not like it's bad or anything. I just didn't want it earlier. I'll take it now. Sure, why not? This is awkward. That overheat is pretty decent. Uh, a shield, I'll grab. There's a secret room next to me, but I would like to use a non... Fucking Christ. A uh, non-special bomb on that. Actually, I suppose it doesn't really matter what we use on it, huh? Dude, I gotta stop getting hit. We still have 22 HP, I still gotta stop getting hit at some point. I hate that guy. I, I Like, all mages do a laser beam attack. you think at this point I would get used to it. Not this Abe. Also, I forgot we had pickaxe, which is why I was earlier I was like, hmm, we need to try to find those secret rooms. Nope. Don't worry about them. They'll find you. Okay. Let's go fight a mini boss. Grab HP. Fight a mini boss up here. Cartridge for ammo, or uh, not cartridge for ammo, the uh, keyword for ammo. I appreciate it. More blocks. Hate the blocks. Heal or ammo? Dude, give me the ammo, because I'm probably going to get those. Um, I'm probably going to get those. Um, extra bombs from here. So yeah, this is the key, this is the, the vault key. I also don't like the guns, so this is acceptable. Extra ammo, HP, love it. Bombs, 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 bombs. Kinda hate that I'm still rocking the sword, um, but it's okay. Yeah, cause the, um, the Edge of Reality, we had it last run, I think. Two runs ago? Maybe two runs ago. Uh, it had a long, like, swipe time. 
and it was able to uh, to break a lot of bullets during the the during time after the initial swipe. This gun does not have that. No, oh, it's significantly harder to um, to break bullet or to uh, to use it aggressively like that because um, you only block bullets for like a, a, a thousandth of a second. It feels like you only do damage for like a hundredth of a second. Now you can left click, right click really quickly, but it's hard to do. So we will run out of ammo with this gun. We only have 97 ammo left. We came in with almost full. Actually try to dodge the attack though. I mean that works well too. Yeah, I got one of those. Monolith seems to to frequently do the same attacks over and over again. Is that just me? So let's get in really close since we have a moment. And we're gonna run out of ammo, so there you go. I'm ready with the bomb button. We do have blink. That seems like a bomb right there. Don't fret. Dodge, dodging, you do do a little bit of extra damage with that dodge roll, thanks to the cartridge that we have. We have a lot of damage. We have that cartridge that increases your damage against bosses. We will have to do a lot of the next floor. Hopefully not, but we're probably gonna have to do a lot of the next floor without a, uh, a piercing gun, because we don't have that basic piercing cartridge, but whatever. I like the cool guns, but sword is boring. I like sword, but I like the edge of reality the most. There's a vault somewhere here. It's scary. Um, so this room fucking sucks. And pardon my language, but it does. Because these enemies, are they impossible to kill? Because the oh my god! Because the flipping shield like prevents me from actually doing damage, and uh, they fire just an ins absolutely insane amount of bullets. So you know, f those guys, I guess. You know, yet another enemy in this game where it just kind of feels like if you don't have piercing, you're just effed. Piercing is so goddamn important. You really have to have piercing, don't you? I'm realizing that more and more and more and more and more and more that the piercing is just absolutely critical. Fuck you, toilets! They anticipate your, your movement so well. Hey, Mud, how's it going? <sighs> yeah, yesterday I, I did do all of the temple. I forget. Was it yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. Yesterday was a really good one. I run. I forget what gun we had. Is it a, a a laser? Maybe it'd been a laser gun. Maybe it'd been a laser gun. Keep shooting. So um, we need a piercing gun. Thunderhead phasing a line. Railgun homing charge faster. I'll take railgun homing charge faster. That seems like a great weapon. We have 185% damage, which is pretty decent. I want to beeline the shop that's over here. So, I mean, already I'm I'm insanely happy having a good piercing weapon. It's so much easier to kill enemies. Like, actually, insanely, so much easier to kill these enemies. And the enemies are dying in one shot, too, which is great. Uh, clear bullets on room end is fantastic, but we need to heal first, so we're just gonna spend money on healing. It's basically all of our money, but I'm okay with that. Uh, uh, don't get crushed. I like 2 HP parts, because that is 2 HP. Don't forget, you know, we have that cartridge that makes it so that partial, uh, wow. 
so the HP parts counts as actual HP. Like, if you could stop spawning blocks around me, that would be great. The whole locking me in and then hitting me with an undodgeable attack is kind of bullshit. Just saying. Whatever. Hit me. Come on, stop trying to hit. Hit me in it. Hit me. Should probably just use bombs more often. So there's an extra two right there. Fantastic. Uh, we'll heal later. We have 22 HP. I mean, actually, our HP is kind of all right. I don't really care about taking the damage I've taken, I suppose. That's one way of thinking about it. Please stop teleporting when I shoot you. Thank you. I feel like Fortune has not been a very good skill for us on this run. I feel like we haven't gotten a lot of good payouts. We, we had a couple of payouts that were like, here's 50% ammo, but we got them when we didn't really need them, it feels like. I think I just spawned inside of an enemy. Yo, could you guys F off, please? <laughs> God damn it. I hate these enemies. They're so annoying. As is my voice right now. I just hate the, the fast enemies. They're the worst. Wow, uh, okay. That's a lot of bombs. I don't know what bombs I took. Should've probably, you know, done that a little slow, more slowly, whatever. You die. Let's go fight these mini bosses. We're gonna take ammo in all likelihood. Was there a was there a weapon? No, we took the weapon. All right, yeah. So we should we should take the ammo. That seems pretty decent. Sixteen thousand money in bombs by collecting those. I mean, it's a lot of bombs. That's the ideal enemy for us to fight. Uh, give me a um, give me a decent excavation room, please. That's good enough. That's good enough, and then we just get two fire bombs from it. Hell yeah. Now here's the question, do you explore? If you want, you know, A or S completion in 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 score, I think you should go for it. I don't think we need to though. Cuz we're like we're done. We can go fight the boss. I think we'll win. So why not explore? I don't know what hit me. I didn't Oh, you know what? He fired bullets cuz he had the uh, the hat. I think he definitely had a hat on. Okay, scary. <laughs> Honestly, that's a pretty good bomb to use. Clear all the bullets, please. Okay, so there's Fortune finally paying out two HP. Thank you. I think we'll, we will win famous last quote. Absolutely. Dude, F those shields, man. Not having piercing makes those such a pain in the butt to deal with. Excuse me, excuse me. Loop 100, every enemy has a shield. Well, I think you're lying because that is uh, horrifying. Also, definitely not getting that far. <laughs> Antique weaponry. Council's Blessing, Dragon Breath, Lata Fane. Piercing Overheat Shrapnel. What the hell is Council's Blessing? We have 71 shots, excuse me? WTF was that room of teleporting mages. There were three of them. That's what that room was. There are three of them, and they like go invisible and make copies of themselves, so it's really annoying. God 
Okay, I'm like... I'm like attaching something that does damage over time. It's like a spear, but it's a runic. It seems like a, a mix between spear and runic. Yeah, because I'm doing some damage over time by putting the hat on him. Oh, damn it. We've got the HP to survive this, so I'm not really that worried. This is an interesting gun. Be because it's got like a spear-like effect, I feel like it's not very ammo efficient. Because our ammo is going down pretty fast. Maybe this, maybe you just you know attack once and let it sit. Like maybe that's it. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Maybe? I don't know. You aren't supposed to spam it. Yeah, Abe only knows spam. Look, I figured it out on my own, okay? I figured it out on my own. I figured with, you know, such p bad ammo efficiency that I was doing something wrong. Yeah, it's definitely not a spam gun. You, you shoot it once, you wait. Shoot it again, you wait. Yeah, it seems like it's not really doing that much DPS, though. I kind of want it to go away. Right, 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 we gotta follow him. What hit me? I was not in... I was not in line with any of those lines, those laser beams. I feel a little cheated. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. I kinda want him to shoot me so I get reflection. Or I can just dodge everything, that works too. Sometimes sometimes I don't know about this game. Sometimes this game I I feel like <laughs> I feel like uh it's it's cheating me out of uh, of good plays and wins and victories. Like, what? I was not in line with the laser beams, and I still took damage. Come on. Come on. Why don't we take a drink? Well, at the very least, that was loop 24, Victorious. We've discovered a new gun. I don't think I've ever had that gun before. We took 58 damage. That's a lot of damage. But at least it was a victory. We can say that we have completed the loop, and next loop will be 25. So, it's a pretty interesting run. The, um, what was it? It wasn't Council of Blessing, it was, um, whatever that other runic gun that we had earlier was. I, I do feel like it's pretty hard to aim it appropriately. I feel like it's not that great at destroying destroyable bullets, the gray bullets from enemies. But it was doing a decent amount of damage, and I do like that it has auto-aim. I do like that it doesn't have phasing, but you can fire it from behind a wall and it will still hit enemies. It does have some benefits to it, but not being able to destroy blocks, not being able to destroy bullets, does reduce its e uh, efficacy a little bit on loops. Council's Blessing, I think for a, uh, a similar reason, I understand the gun now, you don't spam it, but it would be very awkward to use that to kill blocks and to, to destroy enemy bullets, right? That definitely feels like, at least on loops, you use it as a boss killer and then you hope for something else. Because if you do not have a piercing gun on loops, you're in for a rough time. Enemies have so many shields, enemies have so many like segments that you have to get through and you do so much extra damage with piercing, breaking enemy bullets that piercing is one of the most important modifiers for a gun, I think, at this point. Like, I will take, at this point, a, uh, you know, a rail gun, because it pierces. I will take a, uh, I'll, I'll take a Thunderhead, even though it's n it's hard to kill enemy bullets with it. Runics are very good. Vulcan. Drills. Razors. Pierce me. And I, I stand by the, the idea that the, 
uh, cartridge that makes your basic weapon pierce is extremely helpful if you ever have a basic weapon on your run. If you ever run out of ammo with something. Nice. Do one hit wonder mode, sudden death. Ah, no. I did say at some point that I was going to do some uh, intense runs, uh, but if we do those, we will be dropping down to loop zero just so I can win the run and get whatever achievement or unlock you get from intense mode. And I do believe there is an intense mode. Unlock. In any case, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of Monolith.